welcome back to another maze plus video and the second video in the series can you make money um so this time looking at dairy cows and can we make money from dairy cows with maze plus um when maze plus was released particularly with the animal food editions a lot of people were unhappy about how much food you needed to feed cows um but you get a lot back from it so obviously there's been a lot of discussion on it but this time i'm going to go through the numbers so just to show you the testing setup i have a heavily edited animal pen here um, that can hold a thousand cows but the numbers got a bit insane so i have a hundred holsteins in here i have done them from uh calf up so zero months on started off with 10 million liters of food and 10 million liters of straw um huge milk slurry capacities have a manure pit here which can hold four million liters which was enough thankfully um, and basically i've gone through every month and uh, made a note of how much food was eaten how much straw was used how much manure was produced how much slurry was produced and how much milk was produced i've done that for maze plus with the animal food additions enabled and i've done that for the base game so we now know how much cows eat in base game as well as with maze plus um, and then worked out which one is the most profitable? I've only done Holsteins and I'll talk about that once we get in to PowerPoint. So I will see you there. So into PowerPoint and Excel. This is now take four. My brain is uh, struggling to run the computer today, it would seem. Anyway, um, so I have only considered Holsteins in this testing. With Maze Plus enabled, Brown Swiss will consume a little bit less food and produce a little bit less milk, manure and slurry. Um, I don't think that will change the conclusions and I had to do quite a lot of testing for this and I didn't want to do it for a third case. So I've done Maze Plus, Holsteins and I've done Base Game, Holsteins. Base Game, Holsteins and Brown Swiss are the same. So that's kind of not a consideration. I have not considered calves so obviously every 10 months from 28 months on you'll get calves with dairy cows um, because that's the same in both cases i have not included it it would allow you to make a little bit more money or grow your herd so that choice is down to you um, i have played with the animal food additions enabled that's because that's how i play with maze plus that does make the big changes to how much cows eat and produce so be aware of that in both cases they've been fed a tmr mix standard base game and with maze plus there are so many ways you can make tmr or buy tmr but i don't think it significantly changes the conclusions that we're going to get to so for the maze plus tmr i used the dairy cow mix that is built into maze plus and i went 30% grass silage, 40% maize silage, and 30% hay. You could include all of the other things as well, but this is what I've used for calculating the cost of the food. I don't think it will significantly change the answer if you add in things like mineral feed or grain mix or whatever. Um, and then for base game, I did 40% hay, 40% silage, and 20% straw. And again, I don't think it's going to change the conclusions however you make these mixes. Okay, so let's have a look at the data. So what I did is each month I made a note of how much food had been consumed, how much straw had been used, and I kept playing until the point where they became stable because they do change with age with cows more significantly than with chicken. So this did take me a bit longer. Um, and you'll see, so we have food and straw consumed per cow per month on the screen at the moment um, with base game. The food consumption peaks at 350 liters a month per cow with maize plus and with, with base gain that peaks at about 18 months with maize plus and holsteins it peaks at four and a half thousand liters per cow per month and that peaks at 28 months when the cows have their first calf yes it's a heck of a lot more stick with me we'll get to the uh the counter to that um straw usage with uh, base game again it peaks at about 18 19 months at 90 liters a month i think it was or 95 with maze plus it peaks at 22 months i think it was or 24 i'm struggling to read that graph at 350 liters a month and then they all flatline across from there so clearly with maze plus you're putting a lot more in but 
So now on the screen, we have the outputs. And again, this is recorded until they plateau. I'll go into what that means over time in a moment. Um, and you'll see some funny dips in the graphs. This is because it's actual data from the game. And occasionally the game does something funny. So um, manure, base game plateaus again at about 18 months at 200 liters of manure per cow per month. With Maze Plus, it plateaus at the same time, but at 1,000 litres per cow per month. So five times the amount of manure. Um, slurry is not quite so clean cut. Um, that peaks in the base game at, I think it's 250-ish, something like that, at about 18, 19 months. With Maze Plus and the Animal Food Editions, it peaks up at 1,500 litres a month per cow. But... But more like the 26 months age point. So again, you're getting a lot more slurry out of the cow. And then the important one at the bottom, um, the milk. So with base game, cows start producing milk at 12 months um, and peak at 13 months. But they only produce 150 litres per cow per month. Maze Plus enabled, Holstein start producing milk at 26 months. But they very quickly peak at 2,000 litres of milk per cow per month. And that's why you have to put more in. You are getting a lot more milk out. So, a lot more food going in, a lot more straw going in, a lot more manure, slurry and milk coming out. What, but what does it mean? How do they match up? Um, so the next thing that I did was look at um, how many litres of milk you get for how many litres of food you have to put in. Um, and actually, this makes the base game look better. Um, you know, the graphs do cross later on, but this is looking at the first five years of the cow's life. Um, for every litre of food you put in with base game, you'll get... a you'll get more litres of milk out. Um, but the thing to bear in mind is that with Maze Plus, you'll be putting more food in so you get more milk out. Um, so if you actually start to look at that in terms of value um, and, you know, the value, the cost of the food you put in versus the milk you get out, um, actually the lines cross much earlier because milk is worth a lot more than feed. Um, so actually at about just under three years, those lines cross anyway. So then the uh, the per, per pound value of food you put in, you're getting more value of milk out with Maze Plus. And I put these in because it, you know, I think there's um, there are some people that, you know, is it worth having the extra putting more in and getting more out or do I just have more base game cows because they eat less and I can put the same amount of food in and will I get more milk out? Um, and actually the answer is value wise early on you will, but later on Maze Plus is just so much better. And um, I'm not sure how useful these graphs are. So let's go to the really important stuff. Um, so these, gra these lines start from the calf being one month old, so after their first month of life. And I have four lines on the graph here. I have, so the the yellow line down here is base game cows with buying all of the ingredients for the TMR using things that are in the store. And then the orange line is base game, but using the farm supply pack that we used for the chicken video. And you can see there's a slight difference in there. You get slightly more profitable using the farm supply pack. And then we have the grey line, which is Maze Plus using the farm supply pack. And then the blue line is Maze Plus using things from the store. That's things included from Maze Plus, like grass size bales and maize size bales. And, you know, you'll see. So we start off, we have to buy the cow, which is £1,550. So we start off negative. Um, the base game stuff was then. So what I've included here is the cost of the feed using the TMR ratio that I had before, the cost of the straw that they use, assuming you had to buy the straw, and then the income you could make from selling the manure, slurry and milk, getting the best price at a sell point on normal difficulty. Um, if you were to put the manure and slurry through a BGA, you would make a lot more and you would make a lot more than you would from putting the 
silage and straw and hay through a BGA. Um, so I haven't included a BGA in this because it doesn't change the actual outcome. It just shifts the lines a bit. Um, so yeah, what we have is cost of the animal, cost of feed, cost of straw, and then the income from selling manure, slurry, and milk. And you'll see with the uh, the base game cows, when the milk starts to kick in at 12 months, the lines start to push up a bit and actually by about 26 months, you're in profit. Um, but over the five years, you're only looking at making about five grand out of a Holstein um, in profit. You'll get some calves out of that as well, but you may keep those, you may sell those. Um, and the uh, so early on, you know, base game's looking better. Maze Plus, you're losing money if you're buying the feed. Um, the feed, um, the value you get out of the cow is more than you would get from selling the feed. I'll cover that now because I don't really cover it explicitly in here. Um, the thing with Maze Plus is once the milk production kicks in at 26 months, you can see these lines start to go up very quickly. Um, by the time you get to your cows being... 30 31 months old you are starting to pass the performance of the base game by the end of that six years ignoring any calves you may have got you are up you know around sixty thousand pounds profit out of that cow mm -hmm. so clearly significantly better with maze plus um, and one of the things we say with maze plus is that you can have a lot less cows um you know these cows are making nearly well, easily 10 times more income. So you can have a lot less cow. So it doesn't matter that you have to put in that much larger amount of feed because for the same amount of feed, you're going to make more money. Um, and then let's assume because, you know, you might not want to play that long game, um, but probably you're buying your cows at 18 months old, which is what this graph is. So it's the same lines, but starting, assuming you brought the cow at 18 months old, um, actually, I, that that previous graph was slightly wrong. Um, that should have been, I think, five fifty at the minus five fifty at the start. So those lines should go a bit higher, actually. Um, but again, it doesn't really change the conclusion because you only buy the cow once. Um, but looking, you know, if you brought the cow eighteen months old, um, so you do spend the fifteen hundred pounds on the cow. Um, again, ten months after you've owned it you're getting milk out in fact before that nine months you're getting milk out and very quickly the uh the cows with most plus are making you a lot more cash um so yeah it's uh and obviously you're not feeding them as much at the start before they produce so you make a bit more profit this way um so yeah I, I think it's pretty obvious that you can make serious amounts of money from dairy cows with Maze Plus and significantly more money than you make in the base game with cows. Um, so some conclusions from this. Short term, yes, base game cows are more profitable, but the numbers are really small still, unless you've got a lot of cows. Um, that's because with Maze Plus, milk production doesn't really kick in until 28 months. It starts at 26, but the numbers are quite small until 28 months when it really goes, really grows. Um, once you've gone past that 28 month point and you've got calves, the Maze Plus um, cows are significantly more profitable. Um, and the last thing, because I've not covered it in detail like I did in the chickens, both the base game and the Maze Plus versions of dairy cows are more profitable than just selling the inputs. Um, and that counts if you use a BGA because um, things like manure and slurry, you get a much better return from a BGA than you do with signage in terms of their value. So it still works out better to put things through the dairy cows rather than put the feed through a BGA and you still get the outputs. Um, so yeah, let's just jump back into the game for a sec. Getting that recorded was a bit of an ordeal. Uh, it's a Saturday morning and clearly my brain doesn't want to handle PowerPoint. Um, but yeah, I think it's pretty clear, you know, it is to me anyway, that with Mace Plus, your dairy cows are going to make you a heck of a lot of money and a lot more money than in base game. You've just got to be a little bit patient and get to that 28 month point And then uh, once the milk starts flowing, you are, you know, you're, you're sorted for your income. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, please click the like button. And if you've got comments or questions or whatever, stick them below. Um, these ones can tend to generate a lot of comments because people wonder about the data and stuff. Um, 
So I'm, I'm not planning to publish the spreadsheet because it's quite messy. Um, there's about eight tabs and a lot of rows of data and uh, it's not particularly user friendly. I'm going to put it that way. Um, I might turn it into I might generate some sort of summary of because I know people are really interested in well how much you know you know how much cows eat with Maze Plus but how much did they eat in base game and I've pulled all that data together so um and it's it's in the graphs that you've seen so if you're really interested just look at the graphs again. Um yeah and if if you if you're not subscribed to the channel and turn on notifications because that way you know, if if you if you like the video and you comment and you subscribe YouTube will give you will feed you more of my videos and that's a good thing right because you enjoyed this one um so we've done chickens now and we've done dairy cows I've yet to compare the profitability of those I'm waiting until I've got a bit more data next is going to be beef because that was requested by one of the patrons so we're going to do that next and uh yeah, I'll see you next time.